Yo, so my name is Reggie Waller, aka Not So Starved Artist, and I forgot how to walk you through my process here. So right now I'm just laying in like a uh, a blue. Shout out to that boy Vaughn for the music, by the way. But I'm just laying down a very rough, very rough sketch layer. Uh, I really like blue because when I sketch on paper, I use blue photo erasable pencils. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm drawing Mirko from uh, My Hero Academia. So you just get that and then you see the lines. That's so I know where I want the eyes and the nose to be. So I'm gonna start with the ears with my clean line art layer. I'm not the best at line art but I really do enjoy having bold lines, like really deep lines. Line variation is really important. Um, it's something that's not stressed enough and something that I need to practice on, but uh, farther away, things should have thinner lines and closer to the uh, viewer should have darker, deeper lines. It's just, it, you'd be surprised how much of a difference it makes in your artwork. But, you know, different strokes for different folks and everyone has their own style. So know the basics so that you can really originate your style from a true place and not from a lack of skill. Um, so still working on my line art layer here, uh, getting the hair right. Fun fact, I've never watched an episode of My Hero and I really need to, but, um, Still got my line art layer going in right here. Now I'm doing the eyes, um, getting the nose in there. And she's angled, so I'm going to have the right eye, well, her left eye, up a little bit higher. And, you know, her nose is up a little bit higher, so it's just like a scrunch face. Um, just kind of playing around with hair colors. I like that color white. The ears are going to be very close, but just slightly different. Um, same with the uh, the scarf type of thing. Again, I, I'm not too familiar with the character uh, outside of commissions here and there. Um, doing my colors. Um, a lot of people prefer to do flats first, and I'm, I, for one, agree, but uh, now I'm doing my, my shading. So everything that you're seeing now is I'm, I'm going to fill it in, and then I'm going to use these in my shadows. Um, so getting that in, uh, get the gloves right. Now I'm doing underneath the shoulder. It's not going to be a lot of heavy shading because I'm doing like a cell shading type of thing. I think that's cell shading. Uh, don't quote me. But um, it's really simple. You just draw where you want it to be and then hit the fill tool, the paint bucket tool. And then what I like to do after I finish this layer is go in and fill it up with gray just to see how it looks. Like if gray on gray looks good, then it's usually good to go. So let's check it out.